Hey guys! Um, as I have made an effort with my hair and my makeup today because I'm going out, I thought that I would do a quick video for you. As you guys know, um, I'm going backpacking on the 25th. We are leaving London and going to Paris, Gay Paris. And um, my last video was a why I'm taking my backpack backpack video. As you can see to the left, to the right, this side of me, there is still my backpack here. It is a different day, I just haven't moved it. Um, I thought I would talk you guys through my travel apps, my favourite travel apps, the travel apps I use. Apps! Um, I thought I would talk you guys through the apps on my phone that I will be using for travelling and that I think are just pretty useful. As you guys can see, I um, only really have six, but they're the ones that I use and I don't want to overload my phone with just travel apps that I'm never going to use. So I'm going to start with Airbnb, so if I just click on it, it takes you to the home page where you can scroll through and have a look and it gives you just kind of what it's like. It's the live like a local uh, campaign that they do and it's the TV advert which I really really like and you can type in where you want to go and Pembrokeshire, let's have a look at that one's in Pembrokeshire and it can it'll just show you all the different prices of the Airbnbs and you can organise it by price or by rating and users rate hosts and hosts rate users and it's just a really cool app that is a different option rather than a hotel or a hostel. Alright, so I just had to log in but the next app I've got is my Couchsurfing app and it will take you onto the Couchsurfing page. Well, this is the dashboard. Um, so it'll take you onto the dashboard and you can just scroll through and... Let me have a look. Um, yeah, at the bottom there's a couple of different options so you can search and if you... Search, let's go for current location. So yeah, current location and it'll just show you hosts and people who are there and just people that you can kind of chill with and people who maybe take you around the city, give you somewhere to stay. You just send them a message. Um, hosts can rate users and users can rate hosts and it's just a free alternative where you get to meet a bunch of cool people and it's just a nice motorbike, fuck off! So you get to meet a bunch of really cool people who travel like you do or just really open-minded. My brother uses it all the time and it's just really, really cool. The next one on this row is City Mapper and City Mapper is a bit of a different app. I've never actually used it. Uh, because the only city I've been to so far is my own city and I know it quite well and it just shows you all the different kind of routes and alternatives and things to do within your city um, along here as you can see and it's just quite cool if you're somewhere you don't know it's a nice alternative to asking a stranger <laughs> I suppose my next app is Hostel World so as you can see a lot of my apps are actually about places to stay um, did it ask me to log in? No. Where do you want to go? So if I click current location and it'll take me to the hostels in Cardiff that you can see and you're going to see the different prices of what it is per night um, for a mixed dorm normally is the lowest. It'll normally do the lowest price possible and then you can kind of make up your mind from there. You can click on them and it'll tell you about it and it'll give you the ratings and reviews and it's just quite cool. I'll show you where it is and what these people are like. My two most recent apps are Skyscanner and Trivago. So if I look on the Skyscanner app, this is like my favourite thing that has completely revolutionised my travel life, let me tell you. All you do is you type in flights and you type in the destination you want to go and you want to go from and then your dates and it'll give you the cheapest flights that it can find for those dates. I just think it's remarkable how cheap you can actually find flights and I couldn't really get over um, the prices I've been paying to travel previously just to go on holiday or whatever and the prices of the actual just flights I could get a flight and stay in a hostel and it's just it was really really good eye-opener for me just to see the cheapest flights and then it'll go up in price and you can see where you have layovers and stops and things like that that's really cool. It's just revolutionised my travel life, honestly. And then my 
final travel app is Travago. I only downloaded this a couple of days ago as an alternative to Hostel World um, because I did notice in the north of France there aren't a lot of hostels. So when there weren't a lot of options for hostels, there were options for hotels. So I thought I might as well download the Travago app. This is for London. I haven't arranged it by price or anything, but this is for London and it just shows you all the different ratings and what people have thought and what the hostels are, well, what the hotels are like and what you can see and it's just, I don't know, it's quite nifty. Yeah, like I said, all the ratings, so that one somewhere that people have been a bit mm, about in the reviews. But I just think it's quite um, a useful app when there's uh, no cheaper, I suppose, alternatives around or it just gives you a general view of what is around. So those are my favourite current travel apps. Um, I know I was a bit rambly there, I don't know if I got my kind of point across, but these are really, really useful and I really like them. Um, motorbikes! I feel like I should film with the windows closed. Sorry guys. So yeah, that were, those were my favourite travel apps that I've been using, um, or just the travel apps that I've been using and downloading. Um, I've picked and chosen what other people have recommended and chosen my favourite ones. So this is what I'm recommending to you. Um, I hope you're having a really, really good day. So today, I hope you're all having a really cracking day. And I will do my best to edit this carnage of footage that I have made today. Um, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more from me, then please do subscribe. And as always, I will chat with you guys down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, internet friends. I am going to talk you through my travel apps on my phone. I'm going to my favourite travel apps, maybe? Most useful travel apps? Travel apps? Travel apps. Travel apps. And it's just quite nice. I like the Live Like Local advert. Yeah, Mom. Yes?